The CalAMP TTU720 is a battery-powered, non-rechargeable tracking product designed for reliable multi-year deployments. The TTU720 is an ideal solution for managing assets that will be deployed for long periods without maintenance needs. You can expect a seven-year battery life with a single message cycle per day. It has a built-in motion sensor, as well as a built-in cellular and GPS antenna for easy installation. The device may be painted as long as it is not a metallic colored paint. The device can withstand temperatures of negative 22 to positive 167 degrees Fahrenheit for operating and negative 40 to positive 185 degrees Fahrenheit for storage. The unit is extremely durable and meets the following U.S. military standards. When you first receive the unit, you will need to remove the activation magnet located at the top of the device by peeling off the blue tape. In order to disassemble the advice, you will only need a Phillips head screwdriver. While removing the screws, make sure you loosen the four screws in a crisscross pattern as seen here in order to avoid warping the cap and voiding the warranty. Do not remove one screw at a time. Loosen the screws in this pattern until they are ready to be removed. Once all four screws are removed, you may take off the cap. Under the cap, you will find the gasket. At the top, inside of the casing, you will see the battery connector. Simply pull apart the white connectors in order to disconnect the battery. The battery may now be removed. If you are replacing the battery, you will now simply insert your new battery, reconnect the wires, and attach the gasket and cap back onto the unit. Now you may remove the board from the casing. This is the GPS receiver. It is extremely important that this part of the board is never touched. If it is touched, it will damage the receiver and your warranty will become void. In this corner, you will find the SIM card slot. To replace the SIM card, just remove the current card from the slot and slide the new card in with the contacts facing down against the board. Now we are ready to reassemble the device. You will see two sets of grooves at the top of the casing. Slide the board into these grooves with the GPS receiver facing out or toward the top of the case. Next, slide the battery into the casing. Then you will reconnect the battery to the board. Excess wiring from the battery connector can then be secured around the foam casing at the top of the battery. Place the gasket back onto the cap with the large bumps of the gasket attached to the bottom of the cap. Make sure the gasket is aligned with the edges of the cap by pressing down around the edges. Now you can replace the cap and reattach the screws through the cap and onto the casing. Again, make sure you tighten the screws in the crisscross pattern in order to avoid warping. Make sure no gaps are seen and that the gasket is not exposed or pinched. If the unit is reassembled incorrectly and contaminants are able to enter the device, the warranty will become void. One more thing to take note of is that the ESN or electronic serial number will be located on the side of the device on the silver label. 
The number begins with a three, as seen here. The unit may now be installed practically anywhere on your equipment, as long as it is not completely enclosed by metal. It is best to have the device face up or sideways, but it is not generally advised to have it installed upside down because the GPS receiver will not receive as strong of a signal. And this concludes our video demonstration of the CalAMP TTU720. As always, if you should have any questions arise, please do not hesitate to contact us here at Rastrack. Thank you.